Let's bring in Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy, who's on the Judiciary Committee. Senator, always great to have you with us. Thank you very much for joining me today. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you were able to hear that exchange with that man um, about how he got in and how easy it was and all he had to do was fly here and use his passport and come across the border and meet some guys at a hotel. Martha, I have been uh, fairly outspoken in calling out President uh, Biden's incompetence and I stand by those comments. Um, this administration's commitment to stupid is impressive. But you don't have to be an ethicist or a professor of moral philosophy to know that being incompetent, uh, being a meathead is one thing. Telling a bald-faced lie is quite another. Now, last week, President Biden, who has dissolved the southern border, held a press conference with great fanfare and he looked the American people in the eye and he said, I have been born again. I am now serious as four heart attacks and a stroke about securing the southern border. In fact, I'm going to issue an executive order that is going to limit the number of people that can come into our country each day through refugee status to 25 others, 2,500 rather. All others will be turned back. Now, 2,500 is a lot, but it's better than four or 5,000 that, that, that we have had normally. But today, we find out that President Biden has issued a memo quietly to the California region saying that um, his executive order is only going to apply to six countries, just six in the Eastern Hemisphere. Right. There are over a hundred countries in the Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, his executive order is not going to apply to China. It's not going to apply to Iran, for example. Mm -hmm. One or two things are going on. Either President Biden is a woke ideologue who believes in open borders, or he is a skilled liar. And I think the, the American people know uh, which is which. Yeah, I mean, the question is why, and he's, he's letting in, as you said, people from Iran and China. I mean, you would want to be have the toughest scrutiny possible to make sure that these people don't have some nefarious purpose for being here. I would have assumed if they wanted to come to the country, they could find uh, a legal way to enter, but they're not. And I think that raises a question. Here, here's Martha Raddatz talking to Secretary Mayorkas um, on the Sunday shows. Watch. 6.5 million migrants have been apprehended along the southern border. It would be very hard to call that a success. Migration is a dynamic phenomenon. Let's recall what everyone expected when Title 42 was lifted in May of 2023. People expected pandemonium. Our model worked. We drove the numbers down. I mean, I don't know what reality he is living in, Senator. But, you know, pandemonium is when thousands of people cross the border. And, and it, that, that video that we just showed of that man shows how chaotic and how open and easy it is. What is he talking about at this point? I have no idea, but I know this. The late George Burns once said that sincerity is everything. Fake that and you've got it made. What we heard from President Biden last week was fake sincerity. He has no intention. None, zero, not a zilch of closing this border. The only place that the American people are going to find border security is in the voting booth. All right, let me just put up this number. Should there be a national law enforcement effort to deport undocumented immigrants? Trump supporters, 63 percent of them support that. Eleven percent of Biden supporters support it. Um, so we'll see how that works out in, uh, when come November. Um, for both sides here. Senator, thank you. It's always good to have you with us. Thank you, thank sir. Thank you, Mom. Same here.